that. Hey, everybody. Ghost Hunter Larry here. And Ghost Hunter Dan's next to me. That's Dan. And we just wrapped up with Double T and 96.7. Um, awesome! Yeah, that was one of the coolest experiences of my life. Absolutely. And uh, before we talk more about that, we have something super cool to not only tell you guys about, but show you. And that is... It would have been cooler if we were doing this at the Vets Hall or someplace historic, but we're doing it in my car. <laughs> Dan right there is signing his name. And that's it. We are now officially being represented by Haunted Road Media as the publisher for our book. Awesome. The Ghost of the Black Hawk War. Awesome. So that's official. So we're official now. Sign the contract. He already signed it when he sent it to us. We have a publisher. So I'm going to ask you guys, Andrew and Tessa, did you hear the broadcast? How did we sound? Tessa said, I was listening, guys. Good job. All right. Sweet. You know, we got to talk a little bit about the Vets Hall. I mean, it wasn't, you know, we didn't have too long. Um, I do but... apologize, Andrew and Tessa, because I did want to say that Andrew is our newest member, which we will do next Friday. I mentioned his name, that he was in your group. Right. I, he did mention that you were in our group. Yeah. But uh, we will, we did mention Tessa as well. We did mention Steve. Her awesome, sensitive thingy yeah. that she did. Um, unfortunately, Gary wasn't at the the investigation. Yeah. Um, and then my brother, Dave. But, uh, you know, we tried to mention you all, um, but yeah, we will actually, we actually will talk about you guys and make sure that it is known you guys are part of the team, uh, next weekend. Um, things really roll fast. Yes. And, and, uh. Oh, sweet. The, oh, Andrew. awesome. Andrew, that will be good. Cause then we can share it everywhere. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is you guys don't realize, unless you've done this, especially when they're live, they have a certain amount of things that they have to get done, and we have a certain amount of time that we have to talk in. Right. So, but we did give a shout out to Travis and Chad and Kathy. Greg. We gave a shout out to Kathy at uh, Haunted Rockford, and we gave a shout out to Ghost Head Soup. So, we did cover the Rockford teams and the area teams. As far as we know. As far as we know. Yeah. And uh, so, you know... Uh, a win for one of us is a win for all of us. And and Greg does great work. Ghost Head Soup does great work. Kathy, as always, does great work. So, I mean, you know, um, we have to remember that we're not the only ones in this game. Right. And, uh, you know, we we have so much respect for all of our fellow investigators on, on other teams. So. Right. So, all in all, though. You know, we got to tell the story of the Steve situation from the Vets Hall. Which was awesome because Tessa was getting... Picking it up. All the stuff that she's picking up, and Larry's actually getting the answers in a whole nother room. And he didn't know what Tessa was feeling, and Tessa had no idea the answers he was getting. So, yeah. Tessa, once again, you know, uh, it proves you're the real deal. You're so, radio famous now. You are radio famous because we mentioned you. Yes. Um... I, I, I wish that we could have each and every one of you on with us. Yeah. It's hard enough. Believe me, it's hard enough just having Larry and I in the studio. We had to share a microphone going back and forth. Yeah. And, and with more than two, it, it, I don't think it'd be possible. No, it, it would be. It'd be tough. It would be really tough to get every yeah. member of the team in there. And, but, and there's just not enough time, too. No, no. And, and what we didn't realize is that, you know, because uh, Double T and, and Captain Jack and those guys. Hey, John. Uh, Double T and Captain Jack and those guys. That's th this is a radio show that they play music. This isn't yeah. This isn't something that's a talk show. So he has to be quick. He has to be, you know. But I'll tell you what, he did absolutely excellent. And yeah, and, and they played the clips too over the and air. And they played the clips on the air. Yeah. Uh, and last week when I was on ninety seven point five with Steve and MJ, same thing. So I mean, uh, you know, these guys over here at Town Square Media, they are. They are true professionals. Everybody here is so nice. Without a doubt. Every time we're there, they are so nice to us. Yeah. So we want to thank uh, Double T, Stephen MJ. Captain Jack. Captain Jack, 97.5, 96.7 The Eagle, for even allowing us to be part of, you know, this October. is It's just been phenomenal. So, yeah. 
Uh, anything you want to add? I got to go home yep. and go to bed, guys, because I got to work tonight. So, uh, talk about Double T. He's going to get a write-up for our talk about the Vets Hall that's going to include some of the clips that I sent him and some of the ones he played in the air. He already um, did put up a YouTube video, and a lot yeah. of the stuff that he put up, you guys are seeing for the first time because I saw it for the first time when I saw it when uh, Double T put it up yesterday on 96.7. Yeah. So All that stuff. Larry hasn't even I, put that into a video yet. I just cut and sent it right yeah. to him. And he put it in a video, and it it, it looks really good. Yeah. So. Well, the whole the whole Steve thing is one of our coolest stories, I feel like, for the Vets Hall. Absolutely, you because know, you're, you're getting Your answers. footsteps thing was pretty cool, too. Yeah, but, but the thing that makes it cool is that you're getting ghost box answers. Yeah. And Tessa's getting uh impressions and somebody yeah. communicating with her yeah they're telling you their name steve downstairs and she's sitting up there in the navy with, on the missouri right with kathy me my brother and andrew and she's going i'm i'm getting steve yeah and so when larry walks up then you know 15 minutes later we bring the groups together you saw a bunch of people in that group look at each other and go my god you know there was 30 witnesses almost 30 witnesses yeah. to that happening yeah so that stupid phone's having a That was pretty problem. cool. So. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing the write-up, which we'll share, obviously. Um, it might have a snippet of the interview from today. I, I believe he, he said, said he's that. He's going to put the whole interview in there if he can. Yeah, so, so if that if that's the case, that's awesome, because I want to see how stupid I sound. Um, and then I, I want to say next Friday is Stone, the Battleground Stone and Kellogg's Grove. I think we're going to talk about Starved Rock in one of these. I think, these. I think so. And then... Uh, the Bloods Point Cemetery is the last one on Halloween. Yeah. I know that. Yep. Um, and we actually are probably going to be on the air longer on Halloween, he said. It's fine by me. Yeah. He said he might get us in here at 8 o'clock, which will be absolutely cool. Fine. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, and if he can do that, he's going to do that. So. Yeah. But they've got, I mean, they've got people in and out here. Yeah. I mean, all day. Right. At doing different stuff. And I mean, they do a lot of charity stuff. They do a lot of stuff in the community. And, and you know, why we were, why Double T was playing songs and talking with us off the air, he said one of the coolest things is that Larry and I stay local here. Yeah. And no more than you. Ah, thanks, Andrew. And, thanks a lot. You know, one you guys of, giving me shit. <laughs> He deserves it, Andrew. So yeah, don't you're encourage just, him. You're just hitting him when I'm not. So that's don't great. encourage him. That's great. Yeah, Hi, Brent. I, how's it you, going? You have all the encouragement. Um, <laughs> but what's really cool is, and that's what Double T told us. Is he said, you know, he goes, you watch the shows, you see the guys go to Waverly Hills and and all that stuff. And trust me, if Larry and I could go to Waverly Hills and all that stuff, we would go absolutely. But the point of when we started the ghost hunter Dan Norvell YouTube page. And when we started, when I started this group is to take you to the lesser known, more local haunts where no one else is really looking. Right. And look at what that's right. done. It's turned into a book and yeah. some great evidence. There's, there's at what, sites that no one else goes to. There's what? 250,000 people in Rockford. Yeah. And then the, the surrounding towns and all that. I'm getting a phone call. Go ahead, you finish. Uh, you know, all the people in Rockford, if, if they support us, we don't need to go anywhere else. Oh, this else. is him. He abandoned me. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so yeah, there's so many people in Rockford here. We don't need to go and, and go to Kentucky. I, I want to go to Gettysburg. I don't care what he says. I want to go to Gettysburg. But, you know, we don't need to go to the, the busy places where it's $500 to get in for your team. You know, we can go to Stillman Valley, Illinois, and, and get amazing responses and, and an amazing picture, which you guys have all seen, uh, for free. And we can go there so often that we're able to corroborate all the evidence we're getting and we're able to prove, like Tessa, that, you know, our sensitive is doing a really good job and proving the responses we're getting from the ghost box. So, you know, anyone that says that you're not ghost hunting if you're not going to the expensive places or the big places, obviously that's not true because we're getting great results. So, I don't know if Dan wants to say anything else. My arm's getting tired already. Jeez. Uh, he's on the phone. I think he's yelling at somebody. Um, but yeah, so 96.7 today was phenomenal. And I cannot wait until next week. 
now that we've already introduced ourselves and, you know, kind of said where we got started from, uh, hopefully next week we'll be able to talk a little bit more about the locations, um, which isn't anyone's fault. I mean, you got to tell, you got to tell everybody listening on the radio who we are, like who the hell is Ghost Hunter Dan and Larry? Why should I care about them? So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, next week will be good. We'll have the, the, what we assume is Captain Adam's photo. A lot of great responses that we're going to pull out of old videos and give to him. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was an important call. So now on October 26th of Seven. October 26th at 630, Larry and I will be on first WTVO Channel 17. Oh. Then... At 7 o'clock, we'll be on Channel 39 Fox in Rockford. That was the production manager just getting back to me to say, absolutely, Larry needs to be there with you, which is kind of what I told her. So That's right. You'll I'm, be seeing us I'm, on TV. I'm a part of this team, too. <laughs> Probably the more important part of the team than I am. So I hold uh, the cameras. That's about it. Yeah, his, his, his video editing and tech is what makes it, you know, Otherwise, I'd just be another moron with a EVP recorder that I didn't know how to download standing in cemeteries and playing them back and going, is it this cool, guys? And trying to get every, all my friends to hear it on there. This is the guy who makes all that shit look good on YouTube. I'm the so, guy. So don't get a big head. <laughs> so anyway, guys, great day for us. Double T was awesome. 90, 96.7 uh, The Eagle. So I listen to anyway. So. Yeah, and not to um, mention Haunted Road Media for our book. Our book we just signed our book deal today. We are officially can't, under contract. Can't go without saying ninety-seven point five WZOK. It's today's music. Um, I'm more of a classic rock guy, so I am so thankful for ninety-seven point five Stephen MJ for interviewing me and giving us yeah. the airtime. Which once their write-up is done, we'll be getting that too. Right. So. Both great stations, so whatever yep. your musical tastes are, either one of them will hit it. And right, ninety-eight point five wasn't real nice to me, but you know what? The Town Square Media can even hit your country tastes, and uh, at ninety-eight point five, and your talk radio 1440. for fourteen forty yeah. WROK, so yeah, they can really hit you all around or whatever your interests are. So right. we really appreciate them. Yep, and we um, also appreciate the fact that. We didn't bring it up. Actually, Double T brought it up. They still want to investigate. They want to go with us on an investigation. Yep. So that will be so cool. Absolutely. So Absolutely. we're going to make that happen. So anything else? I got to work all weekend, guys. So, you know, Larry and Tessa get to go celebrate. And guess how I get to go celebrate? I work 12 hours tonight, 12 hours tomorrow night, and 12 hours Sunday night. So I can't even celebrate until Monday night. Which, actually, I think Larry should take me for pizza, and we don't even want to talk about that. No, I don't think so. I just want to let you and Tessa know, live on the air, that because of... Uh, we made a bet about something, and I'm not going to get... It's, oh, it's only going to stay between us three. But we made a bet about something, and I actually lost. I really thought it was going to happen, and I lost. So now I have to take Larry and Tessa to dinner. That's right. But I'm thinking that after all of everything that's gone down just today, I think Larry should take, take, care, me, Andrew. take me to dinner. No. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Andrew, we'll see you later, man. Uh, so everybody who stopped by in the live feed, thank you so much. We'll be posting some pictures. Uh, we took some selfies with Double T. We'll be posting those on the page. That's going to become my regular Facebook picture for like a week. <laughs> I met Double T, and I have a picture with him. We can prove it. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll text those pictures to Larry before he goes so he can put it up. And then uh, I'll see you guys Monday. I'll probably go on live Monday morning like I always do, and then I'm going to sleep. I'll probably spend a good portion of this weekend wrapping up videos. Because now that we played the footage over the air of the now you got, stuff. Now they put the pressure on Larry to, to uh, you know, quit... Oh my God, get in my beauty sleep. 
it's and not, it's not working. Videos, yeah, it's not working. Well, I was gonna be nice, but yeah, it ain't working. It's not working. But it's never worked for me. So, but I will get, I will get at least the Kellogg's Grow video out because it's almost done. It just got backburned because of the conference. And then actually, that will be the next episode of Expedition Entity. But yes, yeah. because of the conference, we had a lot to do. We had a lot to get done. Yep. It's getting hot as balls. In it's here. a little warm, yeah. So I'm going to actually turn the car on. A little toasty. Probably going to hear 96.7 boom over the radio as soon as the radio comes up. Is it going to come up? Yeah, my Jeep's being a bitch. Oh. Yeah. So anyway. Um, that's, too, that's too high. Yeah, remember, this is blowing right at the phone. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, guys, we appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. Um, thank you for listening to us on the radio today. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for being part of us signing with the book. Yeah, if you with the publisher, if you're watching this, obviously after the stream is done and you heard us on the radio, let us know what you think in the comment section of this Absolutely. this video here. Absolutely, You'd be like, hey, I heard you guys. You were talking about the vets hall. You're both dumb. Say that if you want to. You wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't mean, really argue that if you call us dumb, you wouldn't be wrong. So. I mean, technically, we are the guys that sit in the middle of a cemetery, pitch black in the middle of the night. So, I mean, but a lot of people don't do that. Right, we're unique, yeah. or yeah, something. We're definitely unique, that's for sure. So, guys, have a great day. Uh, remember to be kind to one another and take care. You always say that. Peace. <laughs> Cut the feed. <laughs>